Hello, my beautiful viewers on my channel, uh, James Higgins Open World. Uh, you probably noticed you've got my new hat on. Uh, it's good, isn't it? Well, what I've got for you now is this is my view, my personal view, of the state of the Labour Party being uh, they're having their conference this week. Uh, and I'll be doing one for the Conservatives <coughs> and the Liberal Democrats as well. So, so let's... Uh, It'll only be short, probably about 10 minutes or so. Uh, well, Labour, in my opinion, uh, I can't see them winning the next election with Keir Starmer, to be honest with you. Uh, I really can't. Uh, I think this, the other day I saw something which I particularly thought was shocking. Uh, a member of the Labour Party said in conference uh I, I don't know i won't be able to reword it exactly what he said but I'll, you'll get what i'm saying he said uh can not all can uh, white people in the audience uh let other ethnicities basically other nationalities speak and don't all white people put up their hand uh because we're trying to be diverse you might find that to be shocking uh Absolutely shocking, to be honest with you, uh, considering that this country, uh, the, the majority of people in this country are white. I've got nothing against blacks, Asians, Muslims. I've got nothing against anybody. Live and let live. But that was shocking. Shocking. Right? Uh, Lisa Nandy, today, uh, I think it was today, I've just read, uh, if they win the next election, they want to basically reopen the Brexit talks. I mean, let's be honest, we're all sick to bloody, to high heaven of Brexit. It's done. And they want to dig it all up again. They want to dig it all up again, in my humble opinion, uh, basically, to uh, get us in the single market and the customs union. <clears throat> That's what they want. Because Labour, in my humble opinion, are a pro-European party. And I think they always will be. Uh, the Repro European Party, they want us back in the EU, no, uh, no matter what. That's what they want, uh, because that's what they believe in. They believe in mass immigration, uh, and what have you. Whereas myself, I've always voted Labour, but I could never have voted Jeremy Corbyn. I hope I haven't offended any of my viewers, uh, to be honest with you, because I just couldn't see how Jeremy Corbyn would ever be Prime Minister. To me, I mean, I'm 53. To me, the whole Jeremy Corbyn era as Labour leader was just like a rerun of the 1980s. You know, you cannot win a general election uh, by only appealing to your own voters. It can't be done. You can't. Uh, <clears throat> the reason Je uh, Tony Blair, whatever you think about Tony Blair, won three elections on the trot, he won it on the middle ground. You can't win by only appealing to your own voters. It's just impossible. It's never going to happen. And the other thing with Labour, and this was thanks to Tony Blair, is that now Scotland's got its own at Parliament and the SNP runs Scotland, I can't see Labour ever getting... Uh, ever getting Scotland back to be honest with you I really I, I can't now that is 50 seats that's 50 seats 50 seats just can't see him doing it really can't so even if by some miracle they won the next election they'd have, they'd have that much of a mini majority it'll be like a deadlock parliament like it was before Boris got his 80 seat majority when he, because his 80 seat majority would be a deadlock parliament be a disaster you know i think if boris is still prime minister at the next election he'll win again i think if he was if there was uh <clears throat> an election tomorrow he'd win again you know to me labor at the moment are just totally unelectable they haven't accepted uh brexit in my opinion they haven't accepted it at all and i i'm sorry i just don't trust them with uh with brexit to be honest but let me get one thing straight. If there was a second referendum, I would vote to stay. Right? But even even though I'd vote to stay, 
right? Even though it's out to stay, uh, I truly believe, and nothing, I don't think any Remainer will convince me otherwise, that Germany run Europe, run the EU. They run the, the European Union, in my humble opinion. I'm sorry if that offends any of my viewers, I really am. It's only my opinion. And it, uh, if you want to leave a message, and I will respect your opinion. I will totally respect your opinion, because that's freedom of speech. You know, and democracy. You respect everybody's opinion. Now, this leads me on now to the other issue Labour's got. Uh, and Keir Starmer shot himself in the foot again the other day. <clears throat> he was asked, "Do on, on telly, do only women have a cervix? Well, to my understanding, it is only women who have a cervix. I'm sorry if that offends anybody. You know, I really am. Because I've got nothing against transgender people. I know, I know quite a bit, a few transgender people. And they're beautiful people. I've got nothing against them whatsoever. In any way, shape or form. I've got nothing against gays. I've got nothing against lesbians. Transsexuals or whatever. I've got nothing against any of them. But you can't hide from biological reality. You know, I know it's politically... Politically... Uh, in these woke days to say that, but that's the truth of it. You can't run away from biological reality. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that offends anybody. I really am. But that's the truth of it. So if you don't like this video, please switch off. You know, because you can't hide from biological reality. You just can't. It's a fact. You know. Uh, what, and what else? One second. Right, and my other point, which I've discussed on this channel many a time, woke, the Labour are coming across as being a woke party. Now, the only good thing I can see from woke is it opens up a debate about racism. The rest of it is just absolute bollocks, to be honest with you. Like, uh, mass is racist. Uh, Peter Pan's racist. Mary Poppins is racist. Only Souls and Horses is racist. You know. Uh, Winston Churchill's racist. Well, he may have held racist views in his time. But I can bet, I would bet £10 here, here, right here, right now, that the vast majority of people, when he held those views, held those views as well. You know. Held those views as well. The past is a different country. You know, you can't change the past. These these young people, you can pull all the statues down you like. You're not going to change a second of the past. It is what it is. You can only learn from it. You know, and in school, I think what's happened is that in schools, a lot of these kids by left wing teachers have been indoctrinated uh, and brainwashed, basically. To be honest with you, they really have. They've been brainwashed, and in universities. I mean, if I, <clears throat> I haven't got any kids, but if I had a kid, right, and they were in school, I would want my child to be taught, right, uh, especially with politics, I would want my child to listen to uh, uh, Labour's uh, opinion on one, one issue, the Conservatives' opinion, the Liberal Democrats' opinion, and other people's opinions, and then be encouraged, and I mean encouraged, to make up their own mind. Not brainwashed or indoctrinated. That's wrong. And that should never, ever, ever, ever go on in schools. It's bloody disgusting. I'm sorry if that offends any of my uh, viewers. I really am, but I, that's what I feel. You know, so kids should be taught to make up their own minds and know who they are. You know, like I said, I'm not racist. I've got a tattoo with Kunta Kinti on there, as I've shown on here before. Uh, and I've got nothing against gays, lesbians, transgenders, whatever you want. But apparently now you can self-identify as anything. You know. So basically I could say I'm a cat. And you'd have to accept I'm a cat. Or I could self-identify as a horse. And you'd have to accept I'm a horse. Or I could self-identify as uh, as an octopus. And you, I'd have, you'd have to, you'd have to uh, accept that I'm an octopus. Yeah. I'm an octopus, which is going to marry a horse. See how bloody idiotic and stupid it is? 
You know what I mean? It, it, most of this woke stuff is absolute shite. I'm sorry if this offence anybody, but it is. You know, what they're teaching kids in schools is beyond me. You know, and they're so, they're so oversensitive. You know, bringing kids up to be so oversensitive is not helping them in life. You know, throughout life, you're going to have... You can't go through life without being offended by something. You can't go... You're not going to go through life by not having a broken heart. Because that happens. It's life. You get in a relationship with someone. It doesn't come with a guarantee, you know. Or anything like that. You know. Kids need to be prepared for real life. You should be teaching them how to cook. Uh, how to iron. Uh, and you should be teaching them that in certain times in your life... You're going to get offended. That's the sort of stuff that you should be teaching him. Real life. It doesn't come with, life doesn't come with a guarantee. These poor souls in Africa. And those poor souls in, what the, under the bloody Taliban now. You know what I mean? Grow up. That's what I'm saying. Anyway. Hope, hope you enjoyed this. I hope I haven't offended any of you. Because I love all my viewers. I really do. This is only my humble opinion. And I'll totally respect yours. I 100% respect yours. But that's mine. And I hope you respect mine. So thank you for listening. Uh, and please enter this competition to win one of these hats. Watch the video on my channel of my hat premiere. And it'll tell you all about it on that one. So stay strong everybody. And don't go out panic buying as well. Fuel. You know. It'll all sort itself out in the natural course of time. It's like this lockdown stuff. I don't think we're going to end up in another lockdown. I really don't. <clears throat> I think uh, this virus is... It's going to be on its last legs in the next few years. I even heard that they're on about creating a vaccine that uh, will stop, will be able to, uh, the, oh, any whatever variant comes out. That, uh, well, that's only, I heard it. How true it is, I don't know. You've got to be careful what you say. How true it is, I don't know. But I think they'll create a vaccine which will, uh, whatever variant comes out, will stop. it'll stop it. That's my humble bit. I could have sworn I heard something about it, but anyway, you got to watch what you say on YouTube. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.